Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urios Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, today is another installment of our doctor spell prognosis. I understand that this is not a spell. Uh, I do understand that this is a cantrip, but it is the next one in our list. It is mending. So what uses do we have for mending? What is it? So it's a cantrip. It does take one minute to cast, um, which is a, a bit long, so it's kind of ritualistic. It isn't something that we can necessarily use in combat because of that minute casting. So I know on the thumbnail that I put combat, question mark, question mark, and the answer to that is probably not because of the one minute uh, casting. It has a range of touch. It does require... Three, all three components, verbal, somatic, and material, which is two lodestones. Um, it happens instantaneously. There's no attack. It's a utility spell, and it's a good utility spell. And um, it, it isn't necessarily it's completely needed, but it, it can become necessary. So the spell repairs a single break or tail in an object you touch, such as a broken chain link, two halves of a broken key, a torn cloak, Blah, blah, blah. So as long as the break or tear is no longer than one foot in dimension, you mend it, leaving no trace. The spell can physically repair a magic item or a construct, but the spell can't restore magic to such an object. So if you have um, a suit of armor that gets broken because of something that happens, say a rust monster or something, then this spell does come in handy. And there are... Uh, there are several types of creatures in the game that can wreck weapons. They can um, <clears throat> they can hurt armor. Uh, they can hurt weapons. They can hurt shields. And then all of a sudden, this becomes a very necessary spell to have in those cases because nobody wants to lose their plate armor. It's really expensive, um, and you really need a way to a fix to fix it. So. Um, bards, clerics, druids, sorcerers, wizards, and artificers can all use it. So just about every spellcasting class can use it. Um, one of the other great things about this, and it almost becomes necessary for artificers, particularly for our artillerist artificers, um, and the I think it's the battlemaster artificer. Game rules, artificer. Let's go to that. Uh, the battlesmith artificer and the artillerist artificer. So the Battlesmith comes with a um, Defender who is a construct, and you can't heal this thing uh, with a Cure Wound spell, but you can mend it, and it will, um, uh, it, will, it will mend it. The other one also is the Artillerist who comes with an Eldritch Cannon, which does has hit, have hit points. If Mending is cast, it regains um, 2d6 hit points. So um, those are important things. To consider, if you're playing an artificer, you almost, especially those two kinds of artificers, you're almost required to take the spell. Um, so you have some way of repairing your uh, your constructs. Um, all right, so uh, that is the mending spell. Has a lot of utility. Can can fix things. Can heal constructs. So that's what I got for you today. I hope everybody enjoyed it, and I will catch everybody later.